We're back in the middle of a game between Upcornia and Ashni. Upcornia is on Bat Flash with Mabel as a first mate, and Ashni is on Mardu mid range with Tabia as a first mate. Battle of the first mates. And it seems like Ashni keeps and decides to not first mate into Tabia. Popcornia, meanwhile, is thinking about whether they want to first mate here or not. I mean, they have three lands. They can probably first mate away one of the Cursey glasses. Yeah. Well, they keep their hand in, yet yeah, they're thinking about the first mate. Probably per Popcornia's first time playing with this deck, although they did say they copied yeah. it from Cyber, so it's a pretty old deck, actually. Like, it was made pre... Well, not even pre-confirmed nerf. It was made pre uh, people realizing confirm with shifting lands was insane. And that's why it plays confirm, even though it doesn't run any shifting lands. It takes out a cursory glance. Yeah, so about what we expected. Popcornia opens up with... A tap fetch land, which makes sense, they have no turn one play. Mm -hmm. Ashin's probably pretty happy going with the turn one pay up or Valdez. Mm -hmm. Actually, would you pay up or would you Valdez here? I, mean, I would probably pay up first so you have more information for the Valdez. Yeah. And yeah, pay up comes out. Ashin's thinking about what to take here. I think you just take Sanjin, right? Because you want to slow down your opponent a bit, maybe. Actually, Cursey Glance might also be a good pick. Yeah, I think, I mean, Cursey Glance is a good choice. I mean, next turn you're probably playing Prying Inquiry, right? Or I guess you can also play Seasons of War. Mm -hmm. And taking Cursing Glance will let that through. Yeah. Uses Glance. And let's see what Popcorn you discards. Okay, yeah. We'll They're discard not the Cursing Glance. Not giving Ashni the treasure. Bant Command. Okay, not bad. They have Bant Command on turn f Oh no, they, have, they don't have their fourth land yet, but they can send you their fourth <laughs> they land. Have, they have Jen, so yeah, they can just get the fourth. They have a couple fetches. When you're fetching for... Actually, yeah, it, it's not an easy fetch, fetching decision here because you do want basics for shifting glade, but at the same time, you need white, and you can't actually fetch white basics off your fetch lands right now. Honestly, maybe Popcorns is better served fetching their tapped Pristine Dominion, assuming they have... No, they don't even have that card. So I guess, yeah, they're going to have to think a bit about what to fetch here. They get to date Tundra. Okay, so it seems like they don't really care about the life total right now because... They're going to be taking a bunch of Shifting Glade and Sedate Tundra now. I think they really need to keep up turn to Event Horizon, because, like, what's Event Horizon even hitting on 2 in Ashni's deck? Because it's not going to be able to hit a 2-drop if Ashni plays a 2-drop next turn. I, I mean, if Ashni goes Seasons of War, then once it makes a token, it's on Yeah, but then there's no point playing 2 untapped lands and holding up Event Horizon. I think Popcorn is better served just playing Mysterious Hierarch tapped there. Yeah. Well, that's low. I mean, that snags the Event Horizon, which Popcornia wasn't going to use anyways. But that does clear the way for mm -hmm. Seasons of War. I guess Ashi is going to play Shardstone Rift Taps this turn, preserving some life. Oh, no, they're going to play... Un what are they holding up untapped? Uh, oh, I guess they're fetching the Dominion this turn? Yeah, I mean, I this the only thing they could be bluffing is Rift Splicing. Yeah. Which doesn't... Seem like it's that good of a card to be bluffing, all things considered. I guess fetching the Dominion is pretty good because they do need all three colors right now. Yep. And they only have two lands. Yeah, only having two lands here hurts a bit. I mean, they have Rune Delver to draw two, right? Because after shaft, uh, sacking Shardstone Rift, they have two <laughs> lands in the yard. Because Popcornia okay. fet playing their fetch land untapped and fetching island. So yeah, they could preserve two life there if they played their tap fetch land la last turn. Yep. So oh, yeah, end of turn fetching Desolate Dominion, as expected. Mm, Barton's Johnson Journal. Doesn't Journal. Do you play out Barton's Journal to get more mana, or do you just try to run out Seasons of War, or Rune Delver and try to draw into more lands? I guess you also have to worry about Portal Factor for the opponent. Mm-hmm. That's the thing, no matter what Ashni plays. The Rune Delver, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. You want to draw into your lands before you play out your mana rock, because you want to hit a land drop each turn. So is Popcornia going to Portal Factor it, or are they just going to Sanjin? They decide to Portal Factor the Rune Delver, and that does sort of ruin Ashni because now they miss a land drop. Ooh, end of all things. End, end of all things. And Popcorn is in a position to cast it. You can you just pass here. Yeah. If uh, the opponent doesn't do anything respondable, Sanjin the land. Do the draw a niche two? There's yeah. another two drop, although. I think you're just going to play Barton's Journal here because you're kind of desperate. But then again, ah. that puts zero pressure on the opponent. Yeah, maybe you just run out Season 4 or Prying Inquiry. I mean, maybe, I mean, Anish 2 is Surveil, which... Right, might get you a land. 
I think it was like, journal. Yeah. That that makes sense. So I'll take the path to turn without playing land. Does Popcornia want to end of all things the journal if that happens? Because clearly Oshni's play indicates that they're stuck on land. So maybe Popcornia wants to mass screw Oshni further. I don't know. Popcornia just decides to ramp with Sanjin, which makes sense. Classic strategy. Wait, is Popcornia playing Mysterious character untapped? I don't think there's a reason to do that. Oh, that's extremely strange. Yeah, there was absolutely no reason to play Mysterious yeah. character untapped there when they could just play the tap and then fetch during the upkeep. So anyways, Ashley passes, and Popcornia has 5 mana this turn, but they're already down to 13 due to all the damage that they've taken from their lands. A lot of it really unnecessary. Yeah, that's... So far, there's been two fetches that have been... At least two damage that's, that's been avoidable. Yeah. I think. Two instances two of two instances. damage. Yeah. Is Popcornia going to ban command in the middle of combat? Okay, no. So yeah, they pass holding up ban command plus and of all things. But at least Ashni gets untapped with 3 mana. Popcorn didn't yeah. attempt to end of all things to journal to mass screw Ashni. Okay, they get 4 mana this turn. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming they're just, just going to slam Amaret. The question is, because you have time to respond to the Rift, is Popcorn going to want to like end of all things the journal in respond to um, Ashni actually having the mana? That is an option. I'm trying to tell you they can just end of all things the Amaret ability and then kill it next turn with Sanjing or something. Oh, no, Ashni is not going to slam Amrit. They're going to Prying Inquiry first to clear the way for their Planeswalker, which actually makes a decent amount of sense. Now Popcornia decides to ban Command using the Hexproof mode to protect themselves from Prying Inquiry and probably making two knights. So now Popcornia is putting on a ton of pressure on Ashni because they have 7 power on board, so that's lethal in two turns. Yep. I think Ashi just kind of forced to play Shards on Rift untap and slam Inishtu and try to block the knights. But Inishtu is going to get killed by end of all things and then Popcorn gets swing to swing in for 7 and then Ashi probably just dies next turn. Mm, Amaret can kind of do some things. Yeah, I, okay yeah, I guess if Popcorn and end of all things to Inishtu then Amaret's not getting killed by that. Yeah. But yeah, actually Inishtu will flip next turn if Ashi decides to mill with Inishtu here. I think they probably just want to mill here, even if they get a really good card, because, yeah, especially if it's a land so they can just mill it freely. Now Popcorn is forced to end of all things in this two, I think. Well, they get to end of all things and then Mabel in the same turn, so not that bad for them. Yeah, odds are finished, two flips. Definitely, definitely not good for Popcorn, yeah, so best to deal with that now if you can. What lands does Popcorn even run? Uh, They don't have any mana lands to fetch, okay, so... No point in keeping up the Mysterious Counteract. And there's End of All Things on Inish 2, as expected. And Popcornia swinging in for 7, knocking Ashni down to 5. Odds are Amaret comes down. Minus is to kill um, something, the Sanjin probably. Yeah, if you kill Song, then the Knights kill Amaret the next turn. That's your one play, so then you probably have to go like Zareen. Ooh, Rift Splice. Oh, Rift Splice. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. really good. So mm -hmm. Rift Splicing, kill Sanjin, get a land back, and now you get to slam Emirate in the same turn. That's insane. One of, if not the best possible draws for Ashni there. Yeah. So if you Rift Splicing to Sanjin, are you just going to get back to Swamp, or do you want to get back at Fetch Land? Because that might make you lose some, a bit more life. Like, how much does one life what matter would you here? Want to, what would you want to Fetch, really? A dual land, so that maybe in the future you don't accidentally master yourself. Or colors for yourself. That's true. Oh, no response. Uh, I feel like Popcorn is... Well, no, they want to keep Mabel in hand. But yeah, they get back their swamp. And odds are Amaret kills a knight. Yeah, which puts them at 3 loyalty. So And in yeah. a turn, Popcornia flashes out Mabel, I guess, and then kills Amaret with Mabel and the remaining knight. Then Ashni goes... Uh, is there a fetch something? And then play it or something? Well, there's no... There's no Two drops left in the deck at this point. Unless they draw land, there's no Planeswalker that you can cast. Well, I mean, you just play Zareen and then Seasons of War, and then next turn you play your, I guess, Xanagan or something, if it's in your deck. No That's, Xanagan. What, what's Ashni's top end Planeswalker? The Amaret. Oh, a Vakaldin, actually. There's also Lu Lucian and Vakaldin. Yeah, Vakaldin's probably a good fetch off Zareen because you have three swamps. Actually, no, you have four swamps. Yeah. So you get to gain a bunch of life and then probably stabilize from there. It's Mabel, draws land. Well, uh, they're one land away from end of all things. Or at least coalescing end of all things. 
draw. Oof. Un- I mean, it's cycling at least. Well, I think it's better to cycle this. Yeah. If you really want to play for a long game, then maybe you don't cycle, you play it tap. Next turn, you coalesce in of all things, but that's probably really uh, way too greedy and slow. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I'm right here. I feel like if you're going to cycle your land, you probably should have done it pre-combat because it's not like your opponent's going to do anything when they're tapped out. And they decide to play their land before cycling Sungrace Meadows. I feel like you probably should have just cycled first to see what you... I mean, that's fine. They they can coalesce and develop things next turn now. Well, it will cost two life, though, so... Yeah, but, like, Ashi is the one that has to worry about their life total right now. Draw, it will attack and kill something. Yeah. Would it be better to do Zareen and the Seasons for the Knight or Zareen and the Pithwell to try and just eliminate the board? Maybe a Zareen hold a Pithwell in case a Popcorn gets anything. <laughs> like, you yeah. know, they can Pithwell the end of all things creature side. Or can they? Do they? No, they only have one white source. But they can't Zareen and hold a Pithwell in the same turn. They will have to just play Seasons 4 if they want to spend their mana efficiently. I mean, right now, Ashni is probably just thinking about what to fetch with the ring. And also remember, Ashni still has a Valdez floating in Adventure. So if they run out of cards, they can still mm-hmm. play Valdez. They don't drop Seasons. They're going to lead off with Seasons. I mean, they're going to play Zareen this turn, right? No way they're going to hold up Pithfil instead of playing Zareen. Uh, I mean, if they want to rely on Valdez instead, then I guess that's probably better to, you know, Zareen. Yeah. I guess they're trying to bait out a counter with Seasons of War. Like, if you're trying to play around counters, you might as well just play Zareen first because your opponent might have a portal factor and you can pay for a portal factor if you play Zareen first. With this play, I think Ashni basically knows that Popcorn isn't holding up portal factor. Yeah. But now Ashni gets to search for a Planeswalker. It's probably going to be Valkaldin. Yeah, Valkaldin seems like the right choice here. Uh, actually, Ashni doesn't run Sophia in their deck. Interesting. Hmm? Ashi doesn't run Sophia in their deck. I feel like they should at least run one copy as a tutor target because it allows them to deal three damage out of nowhere. Actually, they don't run Toddy either, right? That's No, no Toddy, no Sophia. Okay. I guess they can't run Toddy because they need swamps for Wakeldon. Yeah, Toddy is pretty intensive and white. I mean, Ashi is definitely thinking about what to fetch. It is I mean, a tough choice because... Uh, no, it's Lucian. Okay. I mean, that's fine too, right? Lucian... Lucian. Actually, no, Lucian gains less life than Rakaladin. In fact, he even loses life. Yeah. I mean, Lucian, yeah. Lucian allows you to keep attacking, so maybe that's why. Yeah, because after Rakaladin minuses, then the pluses aren't very beneficial to you. And meanwhile, Lucian's plus lets you attack with the life linker. Yeah, that's probably why. So, King Dancer here. So. King Dancer can get back Cursed Glance and Pearl Factor, so probably not that good. I think yeah. here you just hold up. End of all things from better graveyard. To, better to, yeah, I'll just have end of all things. And I think Popcorn agrees. Does Popcorn attack here? I think they do attack because, well, no, uh, Zareen, I think Ashi wants Zareen to die and they'll be pretty happy if they trade Zareen. So I don't think Popcorn mm-hmm. wants to attack. At the same time, if they don't attack, then Ashi gets to play Planeswalkers and take over the game. Mm-hmm. Popcorn is going to end of all things main phase. That feels like a mistake. Okay, and they even exile Zareen instead of the planeswalker that's about to come down. Yeah, yeah I that's... think it's almost certainly better to. Well, I mean, it gets rid of the monument backside, but still. Yeah, because now that End of All Things is in play, Ashi is free to kill with Lucian. Lucian, that's going to come down. Oh, kill that. Actually, right. End of All Things, uh, Zareen lets Popcornia swing in with her creatures. So. Not a huge mistake, or might not actually be a mistake. Although Popcorn does know that Ashni has a Lucian in hand, but Season Boar is going to ping Ashni for one. I think Popcorn is just going to try to win the race. Ashni can drop <laughs> Lucian. Okay, they have to play Shard Some Rift tapped, right? Unless they Lucian minus to exile and develop things to gain three life. Yeah, but that doesn't. Mm, they can hold up Kid Wilt still like that. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the best play here. You. You play Lucian, my sit on the end of all things, gain three life, play Shard Zone Rift on tap, hold a Pith Bolt for one of your opponent's creatures, and then you trump the other creature with your soldier. Mm-hmm. But the problem with making that play is that you don't really end up with anything. Like now you have the Lucian on one loyalty. Yeah. Which I guess you're fine with that because next turn you can plus Lucian start swinging and gaining life that way. Yeah, but Popcornia could also just kill Lucian. With right? what? Oh, never mind. Wait, Ashni is going to plus Lucian? Oh no, they're going to minus, right? Because 
Barton Street in order to enter with an extra loyalty. So when oh, the Valtings yeah. goes away, and now yeah, Shards and Rips untapped. Oh yeah, Pithwell. Actually, it's going to fetch right now. They're getting Gloom Cover Step. And they're going to snap off the Pithwell before Popcorner has an opportunity to untap with a counter spell, which is actually a really good play here because that oh, plays around the Cane Dancer Popcorner has in hand. Yeah, if Ashley tried to hold up Pithwell, then they might have just lost from Cane Dancer flashing back Portal Factor and then making two tokens. Just... Well, yeah, and now. It draws Portal Fracture, but like it turn is too late just because. At this point, Ashni doesn't have to play anything. He yeah. Can just swing with Lucian. Does Popcorn have a way out of this? No, right? Like here, they just have to pass. Uh, I mean, they, they, swing, right now. they swing the knight into Lucian. Ashni trumps the soldier. And then, I they guess, Popcorn holds they up counter spells. Actually, can Ashni even deal with five creatures? No, they're going to swing directly at face. I mean, yeah, that's a forced block because Season of War. Mm hmm. But yeah, if Ashni tried to play any spell, then suddenly they're staring down the board of four one ones and a one two due to King Dancer flashing back portal factor. Draws the land. Okay, yeah, Ashni not drawing a spell actually pays off for them here because they're not tempted into playing a spell. Ironically enough, but yeah, they're gonna get a plus solution and swing in with a three three life linker. And now Ashi is looking like they're about to stabilize. Do you have anything that they can do from the graveyard? Oh wait. Wait, no. And they tried to catch Valdez. Okay, yeah, that. Now that gives Popcorn an opportunity to. Mm. Wait, did they just lose the game? Because now Popcorn gets the Portal Factor, Cane Dancer Portal Factor, make four tokens plus a Cane Dancer. Is that just exactties? Because Season 4 is going to ping Ashti for one. Huh? Okay, yeah. Play number two. Okay, yeah, so oh. Ashti trying to catch Valdez actually just lost him the game. If they didn't cast Valdez, then they were almost destabilizing because Popcorn has two Portal Fractures stuck in hand. Maybe a second Portal Fracture. Man, that moment when you lose the game because you try to cast spells instead of just not doing anything. That's called the control matchup. I mean, the instead of not doing anything is unique to Portal Fracture. And Ashley just concedes. Yeah, they, they realize that Popcorn has exactsies on them. So, signboard here. Ashni has... Well, it's going to be a bit tough because they need to still maintain the Ray of Shields for Tabia. But they probably want Duress and Memento Mori, maybe? No, right? It's just Duress. Uh, does Salvatore do anything? No, right? Okay, and then on no. Alconia's side... Yeah, not... Is Resounding Relief ever good here? I don't think Ashni cares about the graveyard enough for Resounding Relief to be good. So I think it's just Journey's End and then... Probably still a pandemonium, at least some number of it, to counter the planeswalkers. Yeah. And then and still a powder scatterer. Yeah, and power scatterer. Would you say like just duress over crying inquiry here for Ashni? Well, I think you want both. Maybe you just don't care about Tabia enough. The yeah, Tabia doesn't really do very much for you. Yeah, there's nothing to exile because it's all at instant speed, so it, it just dodges Tabia. Mm -hmm. So then you just board in four duresses in addition to all your discard. Okay, it seems like game two has begun. Okay, it seems like Ashi did not board out of Tabia. It seems, yeah, they probably removed some number of their discard spells for the rest. Looking at the hand here, uh, Popcorn side and Children. That feels weird. Yeah, yeah. Well, either way, Popcorn has an awesome hand with two King Dancers and a Portal Fracture. But Popcorn decides to mulligan that. Why? You had two King Dancers and a Portal Fracture. That was... Well, I mean, then this hand's a lot worse now because they don't have the right colors for... I mean, they have Portal Fracture, Cane Dancer, and hopefully they draw a green source for Sanjing. Meanwhile, Ashni keeps a hand with turn 1 pay up into turn 3 Dawson and then Amaret. Yeah. This hand just crumbles to Portal Fracture. Yeah. I mean, if Ashni decides to turn 1 pay up the Portal Fracture, I don't think Popcorn is going to discard it. Actually, maybe they are fine with discarding it because... If you discard Dancer, it, then Dawson turn 2 and you can't respond. And then oh yeah, right, because you're on a draw. Dawson is pretty beast turn two. And yeah. Okay, yeah. I think maybe I just wants to take the King Dancer instead, because if they take the Portal Factor, then King Dancer gets it back anyways. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, no, Pop Queen does the King Dancer. King Dancer. And, yeah. Willing to ditch it. I'm afraid of the turn three, or turn two Dawson. Oh, two My Mim Queens, that's not good for them. They need block. a green source. Ashni drawing a lot of land here. Mm, did you really... I don't know why Ashni's oh, to play that on top. Huh. Well, is that going to be a judge card or is that just going to be undo uh, draw? 
I mean, you can't just undo draw, but I think ping a judge anyways, just in case. All right, judge card resolved. Wonderful. So anyways, Popcornia has drawn a cursed glance, which they can also use to counter the Dawson. It's actually really good because stuck encounter means both Amret and Dawson don't resolve. Yeah. And then Ashni has no cards. But then again, I guess Popcornia has the Sanji and Bounty that they can't cast. And they pass. So Cursey Glance is going to counter the Dawson, and Portal Factor is going to counter the Amaret. And then I guess it becomes a top deck war of whether Ashi can draw something before Popcornia draws a green land. Mm -hmm. uh, draws another land. That's bad here. Yeah, lands aren't very useful right now. Ashi deliberately decides to not play Dawson tonight in order to not play into the counter spell. And somehow that actually ends up working because Popcornia does not have a green land for any other play. Yeah, still no yeah. green lands. Is Ashi just going to play Dawson on five lands to play around Portal Fracture the hard way? Another land. I guess Ashi is kind of Ashni forced to getting, do that. Ashni's getting flooded here, and Popcornia is getting pretty heavily mana screwed, so... Yeah. If, if Ashni goes turn five, Lord, turn six, Amaret, then Popcornia can't really do much. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Ashi is mm. going to go turn five for Dawson and then probably get pretty disappointed by the Cursey Glance. But then maybe turn six Amaret will make up for it. Yeah, turn six Amaret. Cursey Glance, yeah. Womp womp. You buy it all your time for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Every green card. Okay, yeah. There's, now not, that many, that's, there's not that many cards with green in turn six. Okay. Go Amaret. And with the popcorn, you can't counter with Portal Factor. In fact, they can't even make creatures off this thing because they're stuck on three lands. Or not even three lands, they're only stuck on two land names because they drew two monuments. They're still going to make Ashni pay the two, though. Which... which, I mean, we know what's in Ashni's hand, and with that knowledge, we know that it's a bad play because Ashni has something in hand, but popcorn doesn't know that. Actually, no. They probably know that because Ashni played nothing the last few turns. That definitely mm -hmm. indicates that Ashni has nothing in hand, and popcorn probably should have. It's held onto the portal factor for when they have four lands and they can make tokens off of it. Yeah, Ocean Monument, that's green right there. Yeah, and they can Sanjing in the turn to get to five lands, which gets them bad command, which might get them back to the game because bad command does a lot of things. Yep. Thing Glade. I mean, yeah, they have to because they need to fetch a green untapped land. Yep. So, yeah, Amrit goes uncontested for one more turn. Ashi uh, draws another land. I think this zone looks comical. Has, Ashni has drawn one magic card, and that is Memento Mori. Yeah. Because they had five lands and the two Planeswalkers in the opener. I, I guess they can't really afford to run mana lands in their mana base, because they need enough swamps for Vakaladin. And the swamp mana land is, is garbage compared to other mana lands. Yeah. But hey, uh, Ashni gets a few turns of attacking with... Oh no, uh, Sanji is going to eat up for him the tokens. And then Ashi gets Memento Mori to Sanjin, and now Amrit still goes unanswered for a turn. So maybe Ashi just gets there with one Amrit. Like, next turn, Amrit gets to 7 loyalty, and now it's attacking as a 5-5. Five five. Mm, not necessarily. Ant Command could bounce it. Wait, it bounces Planeswalkers? Holy crap, it bounces non land permanents. Wow, that's... Okay, I had to get worried for a second I missed with it. Yeah, it does. Huh. Is that... yeah, why is Bad Command so much better than other commands in Alara? Just does so much. Yeah, like, look at Junt Command. It does absolutely nothing compared to Bad Command, at least. So, yeah, Sanjin yes. gets E1 of the Tackards. There's actually Memento Mori to Sanjin here. I mean, Memento Mori gets worse the more creatures opponent has, so you might as well Memento Mori when the board's small, right? I mean, you can't just hold it up, though. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Draw. Actually, no. Burr. A Bad Command is going to absolutely blow out Memento Mori. Yeah. I don't think Ashi can, will be able to recover from that if that happens. We can confirm the fetch here. That's fun. Yeah, confirming the fetch. What people used to do it's... before they discovered Shifting Lands existed. Back and what in they... the day. And what people have to do now that Shifting Lands have been nerfed. Uh, no, Popcorn is not even going to confirm the fetch. I mean... Actually, yeah, that's a mistake, because if they confirm the fetch, they still get 4 mana untapped. Maybe they're, maybe they're betting on Ashni minusing Amaret, which they probably wouldn't, but in that case, it's point the damage right back. No, I think maybe Popcorn just forgot that confirm works on fetch lands. In response, well, anyways, Memento, Memento Mori. Mori. And yeah, in bad response, command. Band command, hex proof, and... And tokens. 
Wait, what, what's Popcorn is thinking about right now? Shouldn't they just be snapping off bad command? I don't know. Maybe they're thinking about bouncing the Amaret instead, but that feels like a mistake. They're attacking the Amaret right now anyways. You might as well get the creature tokens. Bounce Amaret and make knights instead of... That... Meaning... Well, I mean, that yeah, that, I guess that's fine. Instead of giving yourself hex proof... Than, you, that seems worse than making knights and just not having to sack any of them. I wouldn't be scared <laughs> of Amaret. Well, I, I mean, if you, if you wanted to bounce Amaret, Amor, then you might as well... Choose the knight mode instead of the hexproof mode because you end up with one extra knight over the hexproof mode. So the question just becomes, would you rather bounce Amaret? And yeah, they still take land damage from their shifting lands. If they confirmed their fetch, they could have fetched two basics and turned off their pain land damage. Yeah. So let's see if Ashi just uh, draws a another land. That would be unfortunate. Yes, unfortunate is the right word for it. It's the same word I use when someone whips on EHS. Yeah. They're fetching Ashni's before draw. deck has 24 lands, and over half of them... Okay, that's not a land. Seasons of War. It's not land! <laughs> I mean, Seasons of War is actually not bad here, because it makes tokens that protect Amaret. That's true. Uh, granted, Bad Command's going to make more than enough tokens to take out Amaret, but... Yeah, hey, between it, Bad Command and those two bounties, they're also going to make 4-4s. Four fours. Yeah. is going to have a lot of good tokens here. But Ashi gets one turn to do something, and they can drop Amrit, minus it on Sanjing, and then play Season of War. Yeah, they kill Sanjing with at the Amrit. So they still have one Trump Blocker in the Cleric for the what, Knight token. And then Season of War will be making a Trump Blocker each turn, and so will Amrit. So I think Amrit is probably pretty well protected for now. Yeah. And now I think about it, Popcorn and bouncing Amrit with the Bad Command was not very helpful because Ashi has more than enough lands already. They can just replay the Amrit. They probably should have just did hexproof plus tokens so that they had more of a board presence and that would force Ashi to actually do stuff and pressure Ashi's uh, non-existent resources. Yeah. Well, let's see. Cursed Glance again. Doesn't do much here since... Yeah. Eh, I guess it depends on what Ashi draws. But... Popcorn would have appreciated a land draw way more here. Yeah. Because that would let them... Or no, they don't have the right colors to bad command plus bounty. Yeah, and they, drawing double monument hurt quite a bit. Yeah, them not confirming their fetch here, or last turn, is really going to hurt them, because they could have had six lands this turn. Yeah. So, Popcorn has tries to attack at the Amrit. Oh, she probably just chumps. Yep. Wait, actually, Popcorn could pre combated bad, bad command to bounce the token, and then killed Amrit that way. And that probably would have been a better play, honestly. They're just going to pass and hold a bad command. Oh, an issue. Yeah, that's not a land. And Inishu will flip next turn if Ashley fetches and then mills with Inishu. Odds are Inishu gets glanced, honestly. Yeah, but if the opponent uses Cursed Glance, then they can't ban command. And actually, they can't gardens in the same turn either because their mana colors are all uh, really messed up with the two monuments. No, the, Ashley decides to not Inishu. That feels like a huge mistake. Yeah. Now Popcorn gets a ban command with Impunity. Like, why is Ashley playing around by not playing an issue here? They have more than enough lands for Portal Factor, so just have to worry about Cursed Glance. But if you force your opponent to Cursed Glance here, then what? Then your opponent, I guess Ashley doesn't know what's in Popcorn's hand. Yeah. So, pretty wimpy 4 4 plant token. Okay, there's the land that they need. Probably more than happy to fetch for an island so that they can Cursed Glance and Bounty in the same turn. Or Glance and Command. Can they do that with their mana? Oh yeah, I guess they can. Yeah. So Ashley basically miss, missed their chance to play Inish 2 unpunished. Yep. Uh, Popcorn goes to combat. I mean, both their guys are going to get chomped. Again, Popcorn not using bad command pre-combat to bounce from the tokens in order to get their attackers through to Emirate. Yeah. Um, Popcorn passes. And now they have bad command plus cursory glance. Draw here is... I mean, they're gonna. Ashi is going to fetch first, right? Because they want this in their deck. Yeah. No, they're going to not fetch, but they do draw something that's not a land. And that thing will kill the bounty token, at least. And if Ashi tries to piss belt here, maybe Popcorn gets baited into countering with Cursed Glance, so then Ashi gets a land in issue. No, they're just going it's... to hold back. Popcorn decides to activate Monument of Queens instead of playing Bad Command. I mean, I don't think that's. If you play Bad Command. Assuming Ashni doesn't have removal, you can kill Amrit next turn by making tokens off Bant Command. Yeah. But what I'm saying is I feel the Popcorn could have been in a way more dominating position if they just tried to capitalize on 
you know, actually gonna... playing stuff out and using bad commands as a way to bounce tokens and kill Amrit. Also, they could have gotten Monument and Bounty there. So yeah. Like... Well, now they have uh, seven lands. You want to confirm this or no? I mean, might as well. Wait, what's Popcorn is saving confirm for then? Are they really trying to copy Ashi's Planeswalkers? Because that's not going to be reliable. Yeah, I think it's just better to... Because if you take the extra land, you're at eight, and that's power two, which is good, because that means you can, like, ban command and cursory glance and bounty all yeah. in one turn. And more importantly, you get to draw off confirmed hypothesis, because if you're not using it, then it's just burning a hole in your hand. I'm going to swing again. They're not going really to bad command. This isn't really a great situation. I'm just swinging the things. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Popcorn should be in a way more dominant, dominating position this game, given that Ashi just drew nothing for the longest time, and Popcorn Ashi. had everything once they started Popcorn drawing their colors. Just swing at face. That tells me they definitely are going. They are trying to get a copy of the Amaret trigger. Yeah, I don't think Ashi's going to minus Amaret, though. Amaret's just too valuable to minus right now. Yeah, I'm making those keep... tokens. Well, here it's pissed. Well, is Popcorn going to be tempted into cursory glancing it? Okay, so it seems like Arcee holding an issue has managed to pay off for them somehow. Yeah, yeah it's, it's still, in context, I feel, I still think it was a bad move not to try and drop an issue because yeah. you don't know that you're going to drop his will. Arcee just happened to get the card that works as the payoff. Even Maybe then, if you like, assume your opponent's playing optimally, but Popcorn is clearly not playing optimally right now. That's fair. And yeah, land. Well, anyway, it's time for an issue to flip next turn. Here's an issue after using up the cursory glance on. Wait, why did Popcorn even cursory glance pistol? That token doesn't matter right now. Popcorn already has a bounty with way more lands now. They could have just let the pound token die and then played in their bounty. I'm sure. Yeah, if an issue flips, then this game is definitely going in Ashni's favor from that point. I mean, Popcorn can still bounce it with bad command, but then they don't have bad command for other purposes. And they mill the Rift Splicing. Yeah, Rift Splicing doesn't do much here. The only thing you really want to be using it on is Jin. Yeah. The only thing where it's actually any good specifically is Jin, because that lets you get the land. A Popcorn are finally deciding to crack the bad command, bouncing the Anish 2. It's going to be way too late, though, because now Ashley actually has Trump Blockers. If they did any time earlier, they could have just killed Amrit with all their extra knights. Or even just done Le uh, and then after killing Amrit, they could have just gone for Lethal with their knights. Third band command? Okay, okay. seems like Popcorn never gets punished. <laughs> never? <laughs> yeah. Right by bad command right on time. After, you know, not using a bad command, even though you probably should have way earlier. And like, you don't even have to do anything here. You just pass the turn, end of turn, bounty, bad command, making tokens, and now... How does Ashi even deal with that giant board? Even yeah, even with an ish two. I guess you could just bounce an ish two again. Actually, yeah. no an ish two only. Like right now, just swing everything at Ashi's face. You don't yeah. even care about the Amrit here. Well, I guess Amrit can kill the plant token, but your plant tries to minus Amrit. You just confirm, and then suddenly you're also hugely ahead. Yeah, Ashi's just going for face now. I mean, uh, Ashi could like double block to clear some of those tokens, but that seems. It, I mean, double blocking is fine here because Ashi wants to simplify the board. Ashi just takes, okay. Popcorn here passes, Ashi taps. They get two more tokens this turn off Amrit plus Seasons. Boom, 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 no, that gets ripped to Plat token. And that's also something Popcorn can't do anything about. If they decide to confirm the Mapuno, I guess they get the Exile token too. Also, something else that I think we're not really noticing right now is just how close Popcorn is to dying too, because they're at 10 life. Yeah, 10 And like, as well. the, the soldier tokens from Seasons of War attack as 2 twos. If Aki gets a good opportunity to sneak off an attack, then now Popcorn is the one that's forced to jump block. I guess trade in this case. And yeah, Amrit is X damage to any target. So actually, Aki can just try to swing in with everything. If Popcorn doesn't decide to block, then now Amrit's presenting lethal. Yeah. Uh, Ashi decides to move from away the token as expected. Ashi decides to plus the Amaret and pass. They're not going to try to make Popcorn worry about their life total. And I, well, I mean, that's still fine because Ashi has plenty of chump blockers, but Amaret gets to 7 loyalty, then suddenly they're swinging as a 5 5 flyer, and that does a lot of damage to Popcorn's life total. Gonna ban, it, command, gonna ban command to bounce it. Okay, that's. They really don't want that to be on. 
Yeah, but that's a problem because now Initiate's flipping and uh, and Popcorn has no answer. Yeah, and Bounty. Yeah, I mean, Mufuno's going to be answering that Bounty. Can answer it right now, though, at least. So you get one yeah. turn with a. Yeah. I mean, it's just Trump City here. 6-6. Six, six. As far as I'm concerned, though, Phantom Man bouncing the Amrit feels like a really weak option. Yeah. See the draw. Land? Okay. Yeah. Popcorn's going to end the game with yeah. confirming hand, and no, they can't risk taking the damage here. Oh, right. Mymin still exists. Unfortunately, yeah. not going to be able to enough to be enough to kill Mufuno from here. And I'm going to confirm the ability. Oh, wait, never mind. It is enough to kill Mufuno now. So I guess that's a valid confirmed target that actually contributes to the game. Never punish. <laughs> yeah, there's so many points in this game where Popcorn could have just slammed the door on Ashni if they acted slightly more proactively. Yeah. Draws Jin. Eh. You kill kill Mufuno. And go up to 13 life, which helps a bit against initiative flips. Yeah. Mystery flipping is very bad here. I feel like it would have been better to bounce an ish to and hit Amaret with your monument if you're worried about it flipping. Well, did. About growing. Yeah, but did Popcorn know about. Oh, no, they had Monument on board and confirmed yeah. hand. They knew they could have made a, the attacker. Well, she's oh, going yeah. to try to simplify the board. That's understandable. Yeah. Does so Ashi have an answer to the monument? Because, like, that's the kill them over a few turns. Uh, well, um, at the amount of lands they're at, Ashni can activate Anishtu three times with 12 life swing. I guess. That might be slower than that. Mm, no, but monument. Mm hmm. So, I mean, Amaran's going to keep making trump block just for the that token. So let's see what Ashi draws. Rift splicing. Well, here's Sanjing in, in Popcorn's hand. So maybe something similar is going to happen as last game, where you just slice the Sanjing and get back. Well, no, you don't even have any good lands to get back now. But Inishu is going to be a pretty good blocker now with Indestructible. Yeah. And surely Popcorn is out of bad commands by now, right? Unless they run four copies. They're on four copies, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, they're on four copies. Well, they but... have all things too that they can draw for Inishu. There's a couple options. Uh, also, out of body experiences. Yeah. The thing also, Popcorn Event is, Horizon. So. Yeah, so I think Popcorn is pretty favored right now. If they draw any of those things, then they pretty much immediately win. Yeah. I would not be surprised if an issue 2 dying is just a win for Popcorn. Yeah, so you play Amaret and then you have two Inish 2 activations, which you can do at the end of turn. And then you just use Amaret to make chump blockers for your opponent's creature tokens. And yeah, uh, Popcorn swings in with everything, I guess. Mm, I guess some reason not Or no, to. Ashley decides to swing in with Anishtu and the White Soldier. I mean, you do have Rift Splicing held up. I guess. Well, I mean, either you kill one of your opponent's knights, which you're pretty happy about, or you deal four to your opponent, which puts them closer to Anishtu killing them. Yeah. Like, if Amrit doesn't die, then Amrit minus will actually just do a bunch of damage to face. Mm-hmm. Popcorn it takes. Okay, so now this game is going to be down to the wire, because Ashni yeah. is trying to get lethal in the next two turns, I think. Anishu is going to be able to do four. Amrit, if it survives, deals five. And then Anishu, after that, also deals six. Okay, never mind. Popcorn never gets punished. I mean, they weren't going to get punished anyways, because they had Monument to gain them life. Or actually, would Monument have saved them? They could just dump out their mana to Monument and then swing for four, gain four. Up to 13, yeah. and then I think that puts them out of whatever Ashi is doing in range. But Trend of Clouds definitely yeah. also does that. I'm assuming they're attacking with the plant token. I mean, it, it'll be a waste to not attack with it. They're gonna attack everything in Amrit. Huh. Not Ashi's life total, though, which does make sense because Ashi can actually afford to let some of the knights hit their face, but Amrit needs to be on high loyalty to actually do a lot of damage to Popcornia's face. Yeah. So the scenario plays out as we expect. Oh, she ch double chumps and then wrist splicing is the third thing. And then I guess Popcorn just passes a turn holding up Children of the Clouds. Now she is going to be massively disappointed when they try to go for lethal and get stopped by Children of the Clouds. Mm -hmm. I mean, can Ashi even fight through 7 extra life from the Children of the Clouds? Not to mention that the bird tokens probably just have lethal on Ashi anyways. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, then again, there was a bunch of cards Popcorn could have drawn there that would let them win. Any sort of removal on the initiative worked. Children Clouds worked. Popcorn is going to end of turn Children's instead of doing it in response to Ashi trying to win the game. 
I feel like our, a popcorn could have waited a bit more to bait Ashi into committing a bit more. But I guess this probably just does a good enough job of ending the game anyways. Yeah. Actually, if Ashi draws a land here, they might still have the win. Yeah. Yeah, because they initiate they can initiate four times if they have if they draw a land here. But it has to be a land that sacks itself. And that's not it. But not it. the fact that they were almost at lethal, even after a children clouds like that, is pretty impressive. Because they can initiate four times to do eight to popcorn's phase and then amaret mine is to do five more and that would be lethal. Back it's still lethal. Initiate three times that's six damage. Okay, yeah, they're one off lethal. That's really impressive. So Very, close yet so far. Yeah. Well, if you take up Amaret... If you take up Amaret, then you can't minus it on the same turn. Yeah. Well, Popcornia doesn't have lethal because an issue gains life. Right, actually. So, Ashni still has this. Well, they're also going to have to worry about an issue fuel in their yard. Because they can only an issue three times right now. They need if they to stack their land to an issue a fourth time. Well, they have Murky P that's sackable. Yeah. And if they tick up Amaret... Then it does six damage. Oh, no, Amrit's yeah. gonna die to the birds. Oh yeah, Amrit dies to the birds. I think Ashi's best bet here is to just prying inquiry and crack the clue, and then hope to dig into something that like Vakaldin might actually Vakaldin might get there. How many slots are they on right now? Uh, let me see. Uh, swans one, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute. Did, oh, Popcorn eight. realizes that. Wait, now Ashi has lethal. Because Popcorn didn't sack the Mysterious Cataract for birds, so they only birds for six. Yeah, Popcorn needed to sack the Mysterious Cataract for the land there to birds for seven, and now Ashley has the game. That's, huh. Wow. Seems like Popcorn's sloppy play has finally caught up to them. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, okay, Ashley, do, do the thing. Get exactly on Popcorn, yeah, punish them for their sloppy play. Yeah, Ashley realizes that too. Okay, Man. wait, do we have a game three? No, I'm pretty sure Ashni won game one. No, Ashni lost game one because they like they could have won if they didn't cast Beldez during the last oh, turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we have to suffer through a game three now. Mm, I should have eaten before this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, I, I think we probably expected the matchup to go pretty long, but Judge yeah, Calls, sure. in addition to Popcornia, delaying the end of the game because they decided to play super passively instead of just shutting the door on Ashni. And actually, yeah, Popcorn definitely threw that game because they had so many opportunities to win there. Yeah. Well, hopefully game three is going to be a bit faster. Maybe Ashi gets an early advantage so that they can slam the door on Popcornia. No, so Ashni has 61 cards in their deck. Oh. Well, I mean, it, it maybe... Wait, no, that doesn't help with hitting Tavia numbers at all. It looks like they didn't notice. Well, I mean... It's one card, it's probably not a big deal, but like... Hopefully it's not the card that pushes Ashi's type counts over Tavia range. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so this is a hand that's perfect for Tavia because you get to swap one of the lands for an actual card. Mm -hmm. and then you have the discard curve. The yeah, Ashi gets it. Oh, another Pry Inquiry. So they can just go about that as Pry Inquiry, Pry Inquiry, Tavia. Just empty the opponent's hand before dropping nope. their 4 mana 3 3 that probably doesn't do anything because there's nothing to exile. Yeah, it'll be good if Popcorn wants to, like, end of all things, I guess. It's lowest, so that's... Yeah, they're trying to hit Popcornia's counter spells. Might just give up Bounty, since you want to hang on to Glance. Yeah, I would discard Bounty here, too, because Bounty is not going to be useful until later. Wait, Ashi, uh, uh, you don't get to choose here, right? Yeah, the opponent chooses what to discard. Popcorn reads the card and explains the card to Ashni. Man, well, that would be broken if you got to choose which one to discard. It's, it comes with a creature. That's just yeah, coming with a creature makes it very nuts. Okay, anyways, Popcorn gets to hold up Cursor Glance now. Or, yeah, they have to play 50 Glade to hold up Cursor Glance, but they can't do it. This means that Pool of Light will be tapped, but they don't have any 4 drops, anyways. So they're alright with that. No, they're going to not hold up Cursor Glance. Is anyone going to notice that Pool of Light is supposed to be tapped? Actually, are you going to like notice that? We'd rather you point it out than us point it out. Mm hmm. Huh? Okay, yeah, the spectators all gain up at the same time. That's actually big, because that means Curse Free Glance isn't held up. Yeah. So... The so Prior Inquiry gets to steal... Curse Free Glance? Probably. No, actually, I think you'd rather hit Mabel, because you want to hit Popcorn's resources. Curse Glance doesn't counter Tabby anyways. That's true. It does counter Pumo. You, are you going to go for a turn 3 Mipuno? I, I guess that happens. 
But now Ashi knows about the end of all things. So are they willing to just play Mumfino into end of all things? Like, and get killed like that? Mm. Well, here's the bounty. Yeah, so I think Ashi would rather just save the Mufuno for after opponent has a bounty token out so they can immediately get value off of it. Rift Spicing the Mabel will be really tasty for Ashni, at least. Mm-hmm. Trying another inquiry. Yeah, probably take end of all things here. Yeah, you want Babel now because you can do the funny. Yeah, you get to play shards on Rift untapped and then hold up Rift Spicing for opponent's Mabel. Yep, these hand destruction cards are just fun to work. Yeah. Actually, there is a problem here because if you try to... Oh, no, you can just fetch for one of the pain lands, so that's fine. Okay, a popcorn mm -hmm. flashes to the Mabel, end of turn. Ashley, do your thing. Risk splicing the Mabel. Get value. Think of the value. I mean, uh, Ashley's probably just, just going to wait until yeah. combat, I guess. No, don't let your opponent tap. They might have counter spells. They don't, but... But yeah, they, they might. Could, and yeah. that's... Like, doing this means that now you're giving your opponent an opportunity to portal factor your risk splicing on four lands. Wait, is Ashley just not going to risk splicing the Mabel mm -hmm. here? Okay, no, they are. They are. Yeah, this you should have done this end of turn when Popcorn was tapped out to play around counter spells, especially Portal Factor. Portal Factor really punishes you here for waiting. But instead of Popcorn getting never punished last game, it's Ashni here getting never punished this game for it's not only playing fair. around stuff. Well, actually, no, Popcorn did get punished at the end of last game for losing the game. <laughs> yeah, losing the game does generally lose you the game. And now Popcorn, yeah. I guess they're holding a bounty for four. That's going to get answered by Mupuno. So yeah, it seems like Ashni is in commanding position now. Yeah. They can crack the clue end of turn if there's nothing to piss. Well, honestly, Popcorn probably should have just played Monium of Queens so that they could have at least pumped Monium of Queens if Ashni did nothing. But anyways, here's bounty for four. You piss well that? No, you Mupuno that because that amazing Mupuno value. That's the whole reason you play Mupuno. Or at least one of the reasons. You get to kill tokens for free. That's true. And you're totally fine getting smacked for four off a tiny bounty like this. Well, actually, no. If you try to pistol the token, it helps you play around Portal Factor, sort of. Mm. Uh, do they yeah. have Portal? No, they have Cursed Glance. Okay, yeah, so King Nancy Cursed Glance will ask the Mipuno. So that means I should probably try to pistol the token first. And if that doesn't work, then you Mipuno. Yeah. It seems like Ashi also agrees. They decide to pithful the token, or at least try to, to in order to bait out counter spells for Mupuno. Odds are canyons for Cursed Glance. Yeah. So yeah, now Mupuno <laughs> gets to oh Tabia too, but yeah, Mupuno is probably the play here. Yeah. Just I get on the board, exile the token for free, and then now only has to deal oh. with a Mupuno on the board. Monument. Monument's the biggest threat on Popcorn's board right now. Yeah. I guess Monument plus King Dancer gets Mupuno down to one loyalty. But next turn, uh, Ashi can play Tabia, and then... I mean, Tabia doesn't really do much, but it is a 3-3 lifelinker, so... The body is worth something. Ooh, another land. Yeah, that's not what Popcorn needed. But actually, it is what will turn off the Shifting Blade's self pain. I mean, here you just uh, animate Monument and swing at Mupuno with both, right? Like, there's no decisions about it, you just attack Mupuno. And Ashi doesn't have a good way to answer the Monument, so... Popcorn can just use it as a win condition, and Ashi is pretty low, because they're at 10 life right now. Yeah. You know, it gets knocked down to 1 loyalty, but no, that doesn't act, that still doesn't kill Mipuno, so... Well, it can't really do much right now, because plus 1 doesn't really do much. Murky Pete, I mean, that's fine. You want more land anyways, because you have these clues that you want to crack eventually. If they do just play Valdez here, I mean, Valdez is a pretty threatening creature if your opponent ever goes empty-handed, or at least even just one card in hand. Yeah, popcorn is at is at one card. Okay, so it's like oh, she's going to play Tabby instead of Valdez. Mm, yes, Tabby. Uh, I mean, it seemed bad here. Oh, actually, no. Ashley could have murky peated for a swamp in order to turn off the crumbling precipices, but they didn't. Yeah, I feel like that's mm, a mistake. Well. Unless they want to fetch something else with murky peat. No, they just not they decided to not play the murky peat. They play a land this turn. Nope. Huh. There's a portal fracture. So what is Ashi holding lands in hand for then? Is there anything? I don't. I do not know. Yeah. I guess the only thing is like it's a land you have to pay life to, but you're losing more by leaving your precipices. Uh, is Ashi maybe Ashi is trying to bluff? But bluff, holding, like, what are you what? trying to bluff with the land? Yeah, it's better to play a land here. Anyways, Mufuna dies to the monument. I mean, Tabia will get rid of the Cane Dancer at least. I'm at Hope of Night. Ashni doesn't want to pay the three life though, which is understandable. 
because that is a lot of life right now. Amaret, which is nice here, but unfortunately fracture, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, now that now now she's playing Mercy Pete. Yeah, they could have done this last turn and prevented two yeah. damage. Yeah. Do you want to risk jamming Amaret here, or do you just want to wait until you have six lands so you can play around Portal Fracture? I guess you can't really afford to wait here because Monument's ticking up, and that thing is a huge threat. Monument kills you very soon. At the same time, though, you're kind of fine keeping mana up because you have these two clues that you can crack. They're going to try to play Valdez, and that's the thing that gets countered, I guess. Yeah, Valdez as well. So I do get tokens off the portal yeah. fracture. Actually, it's honestly, good. I would have preferred Amaret to get countered rather than Valdez, because Valdez, as a 5-4 menace, is really threatening in this situation where both players are top decking. Yeah. Land for popcorn, great. Yeah, that's an end of all things. Oh, yeah. Last. Popcorn decides to play it tapped. I, think I guess they're keep, thing. I mean, even if you're not trying to get back end of all things, you still have Monument of Queens that... Probably better to try and... Like, hit Tabia with... No, but, yeah. like, Mind of Queen has Vigilance, right? So if you play Ultra Monster and tap, you get to activate one more t one more time this turn. Either ways, if you were... You should play Ultra Monster and tap, even if you yeah, were You trapped. have the life to pay, too. You have 20 pounds. Yeah. Five. And Mind giving you life anyways. I don't think Ashi's going to win this game, because... I mean, just look at the sports state. Yeah, Monument is pretty good. Well, but Amaret... Does Amaret get there? Does it? Because now oh. Ashi can play Amaret unobstructed. Yeah, but I don't think it's good enough. Yeah. Especially for one, uh, end of all things. Just yeah. build it. The um, most it's going to do here is, like, not much. So you can mice for it, uh, kill King Nasser, game for life. Amaret is a war leader Helix at base. That's true. I honestly might just be okay with going for the mice for kill King Nasser play, because that puts me the first, furthest away from dying to Monument. Yeah. That plus Tavia brings you back up to 12. Well, I mean, they're going to plus. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you swim with Tab. Do you swim with Tavia? Yeah, you do. You need the life. And I guess you just accept that Amaret's going to die this turn. Crack the monument. You can double activate monument. Oh, well, bounty. Yeah, that. Bounty. That's a good thing there. Well, was there anything popular did this game that didn't get punished? Or did you just get a pretty smooth sailing game? For popcorn. Well, I mean, one thing that they didn't do optimally was playing the fetch land tap last turn. But actually, if they yeah. play the fetch land untapped last turn, then mine would be at five right now, and then activating again would be at putting it at six, which would have been enough for lethal. So yeah, they did miss lethal by not playing their like fetch land untapped last turn. Yeah, popcorn taps out of bounty mana. But yeah, they're gonna activate mine again. So does it matter? Activate. Act so uh. I don't know what Ashni can get to survive this. They gain up to 10, but not enough to survive. Yeah, that's not it. Everything. And Barton's journal doesn't do anything. Does Ashni yeah. even have anything in their deck that deals with Monument? I guess Memento Mori slash Eggs on an empty board, but that's not reliable at all. Yeah, and that's in this case, basically that's it, not... right? Yeah, they, they have no other yeah. ways to deal with Monument. So, Monument. The only really. There's a couple like uh, Eggs on. Yeah, like I mentioned. Um, edict effects, but that only works if your opponent has no tokens or cane dancers. You swing. I mean, technically not lethal, I guess. Mine goes to six. You piss with one of the tokens. You go to one. I mean, mine goes to seven. So yeah, oh, technically not lethal, and you can still crack some of the clues. So yeah, you can pithwell and crack your clues, but you're also at one against a big monument as trample. So yeah, you can always hope. Opium. I mean, Aki would have been dead already if Popcorn sequenced their land plays better, so at least yeah. Aki gets to live knowing that. Okay, I mean, you start off by cracking clues, right? Initiative, two, I mean, that would have been good one turn earlier. That's why you might want to crack your clues during your main phase so you actually know what you're doing, and if you draw into stuff that you can only play at sorcery speed, you play them. Yeah, like, you, you should have cracked your clues main phase. Anyways, okay. best well, yeah. Not a very good pithful target, but kind of necessary right now. Mm. I guess popcorn is maybe a bounty. The difference between two and one life probably isn't too I mean, with the life gain stuff. Well, I mean, Wayfarer's Shrine, I guess. So another pithful is an answer monument. You see that? What? With the lands? I mean, they actually tap Mysterious Cataract for mana, I guess. No, it under-tapped this turn. Oh. They tapped four and Cataract. Uh, 
Honestly, I'm, I, I've already stopped keeping track because this game has taken so long. <laughs> and, like, this game is a foregone conclusion, but I'm still waiting for Popcorn to go through the motions and Ashi to yeah. figure out some way. At times, I think is gonna. Oh, God, Judge Call. <laughs> don't, don't make it. Don't, don't uh, make me. <laughs> no. Please. <laughs> this ended already. Hey, do we need it? No. <laughs> 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 Never in the history of magic have I been so sad to call a judge. <laughs> we are trapped in the commentary box for all of eternity. <laughs> I wasn't even planning on commentating this. I was like, I was laying in bed and I just thought, hey, does anyone want to commentate this game with me? And I was like, hmm, sure. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least you only have to commentate. I have to edit this thing. That's yeah. You have it much, much worse. Uh, okay, uh, I guess the judge calls done. That, that took way longer than it needed to. Yeah. Are, are they still going? Okay. Okay. Anyways, where are we? Uh, we're one turn away from winning the game. Yeah, we are probably one popcorn turn away from the game ending. Po uh, next turn, monument for monument up to eight. Ashi's I mean, at six at best. No, we're at, we're Puma's resolving. Yeah, so that's seven. Another life. Still not enough to survive Monument. Yeah. And no flyers to block it. Anything Ashi, please let the Moon Puma resolve. Yeah, let, let's continue. P please. We've been waiting around for long enough. Yeah, this is... Uh... <laughs> Pip says yes. Pip, Pip please, please. Please say yes. Hurry yeah, up. <laughs> Say the magic. Okay. Pip said the word. Yeah. We, we, are, we are free. Yeah. I think we probably can kill him to tokens, but the point is still the same. Ashni has no way to stop the monument, and the monument just wins. Actually, uh, I mean, Popcorn just end up turning bounties for a bunch, and then, yeah, it doesn't even matter. Okay, Ashni, please. You, you've already had the entire judge call to make your decisions. Please make this expedient. Please. Please don't find another way to get a judge call. Wait, is Popcorn already at two game rule violations? I mean, if Popcorn somehow gets a game rule violation before connecting with the Mind McQueen, <laughs> no. then they get a game loss from three game rule violations. That's one way Ashi can win the game. I would... I think I'd quit magic. I think I would... I think I'd move to the forest and become a hermit. I mean, that, yeah. But... I think that would be a valid response. <laughs> In response, I leave society. Okay, popcorn. You end up turn bounty, right? You, you've had. Oh no, never mind. You're pumping. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, good, good. End of turn. Okay, yeah, yes, we see it. Popcorn, yeah, pl please end the game. Yeah, yeah Ashin's only out to my McQueen's is edict effects. Then again, well, I guess there's a lot of instance speed removal spells to answer my McQueen's, but none of them are in Ashin's deck. No popcorn, GG. The only, um, the only thing is like a really early, either an early rift splicer on it, or we're free, or an edict. We we're, are free. Yeah. It's, so our timer says two hours and seventeen minutes. Eighteen minutes now. <laughs> yeah, the worst part is, I feel like after editing, this thing's only going to be forty minutes long because how the time is spent waiting. That's true. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, I think that's probably enough for us today. So. Uh, thank you for sticking around for this two-hour game that's only going to be around 40 minutes in the video, but yeah.